outdid Turkey build the largest army of unmanned drones and gain air supremacy. In the past two decades, Turkey has grown into a highly advanced economy on a huge economical scale. Turkey is now on path to compete with France, Spain and the UK in heavy industrial output. Turkey's arm industry has experienced significant growth, reducing its dependence on foreign military support from 80% in 2004 to an approximately 20% in 2022 and becoming the 11th largest arm exporter worldwide. Turkey's military is ranked second in size within the NATO alliance. Following only the United States, the Turkish army force consists of army, naval and air force. These are functioning as distinct branches under the leadership of the President of Turkey. It currently has a total of approximately 350,000 active personnel, whereas Turkey's Air Force and Navy has approximately 60,000 members. Being the only NATO member to share borders with Russia and Iran, Turkey holds a unique geopolitical position. Turkey, a strong standing member of NATO since 1952, has constantly been recognized as an important ally of the Western world. This perception has been carefully maintained by the Turkish government, especially in regards to global initiatives for stricter regulations on armed trades. In the last 20 years, Turkey heavily invested in industrialization, especially within the field of armaments. In the past, they have heavily relied on countries such as the US, Germany, from NATO to supply their military equipment. However, since President Recep Tayyip Erdogan risen to power, Turkey has established a substantial armament industry and manufactures their own assault rifles, armored personnel carriers, and guided missiles. The global demand for drones in both military and civilian fields on the rise. According to some projections, the market for military drones is set to increase significantly reaching approximately $26.1 billion by 2028. That's up from an $11.3 billion in 2021. Back in 2002, Turkey had only 56 domestic companies representing the arms sector. However, as of today, the number has grown significantly over 1,500 companies within a total of 100,000 employees. According to Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, defense spending has also seen a significant increase from 5.4% of GDP in 2015 to 7.5% in 2020. Additionally, research allocations have experienced a remarkable surge, jumping from $50 million in 2002 to a whopping $1.5 billion in 2019. The Turkish export industry has seen significant growth in recent years. Starting at just $258 million in 2002, it now reached an impressive $4.4 billion in 2022. This success can be attributed to major companies such as Aselsan, Baykar, TAI, Havelson, and Rocketson leading the way. Looking ahead, Akara's goal is to hit $7 billion currently and in the near future to hit $10 billion mark. Turkey's leading aerospace companies have recently made significant sales to various countries. TAI recently sold Aksungar drones to Algeria and Ankar drones to Tunisia, while STM provides token drones to Nigeria. Additionally, Baykar's renowned TB2 drones have been purchased by 28 nations worldwide. These include Morocco, Djibouti, Togo, Somalia, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Rwanda, to name a few. Burkina Faso, which purchased ground demon drones from Turkish company Afsat in 2021, also possesses TB2 drones. Onman drones provided support to the Libyan government of national unity against Marshal Khalifa Haftar offenses. Onman drone has also helped Ethiopian Prime Minister Abi Hamed navigate Tigray rebels, aided Azerbaijan in defeating the Armenians and gave Ukrainian forces an edge over the Russians. In the realm of armored vehicles, Neuro, a Turkish industrial conglomerate, provided Tunisia with the Ijret Yalsin models, while Katmasila, a truck trailer company, equipped Gambia, Uganda, and Kenya with their Hizur armored combat vehicles. 
let's take a closer look at the Bayraktar company. Bayraktar TB2 is a gray UAV with angled wings and rear propellers. This unmanned aerial vehicle carries a laser guided bomb and can be easily transported on a flatbed truck. Its cost is significantly lower than similar American and Israel drones. It has gained widespread recognition for its impressive performance in defending Ukraine, earning the Bayraktar company much recognition worldwide. According to the designer, the TB2 drone's success during the Ukraine war has led to global demand for it. Its export achievements are undeniable, with a consistent expanding waitlist and over 30 countries placing orders as of 2023. The TB2 costing $5 million categorized as a medium altitude, long endurance drone. Falls in mid-range price point. In comparison, the leading US made armored drones models, the MQ-9 Reaper, cost an approximately $20 million per unit. This significant cost difference allows buyers to utilize the TB2s on more daring missions where there is a higher chance of being shot down. While Iran and China offers cheap alternative, international defense analysts noted that they lack precisions and are unable to sustain long fights at high altitude. While Iran and China offers cheaper alternative, international defense analysts note that they lack precisions and are unable to sustain long flights at high altitude. According to Turkish analysts interviewed by Crisis Group, this cost-effective performance ratio gives Turkey a competitive advantage in the market. Customers for Turkish drones span across Europe, Arab countries in the Gulf and North Africa, Sub-Saharan African countries and others, as seen in the map below. The TB3 drone is of a similar design and specification, however made for more advanced terrains. The TB3 successfully achieved a high speed of 130 km during test flights, featuring the locally produced PD-170 engine from TEI. The domestic manufactured UCAV effectively passed system identification trials, maintaining flight for six hours at both high speeds and low speeds. Since initiating UAV related R&D in 2003, Baycar has generated 83% of its revenue through exports. In 2021 and 2022, data from Turkish exporters Assemble TIM shows that the defense and aerospace industry was led in export majority. In 2022, Baycar had an export rate of 99.3% and generated export value at approximately 1.2 billion US dollars. This was all accomplished in the previous year throughout signed contracts. There are more thought-provoking questions at hand when it comes to the Turkish advancement in drones. The question is quite widespread and it is, will these drones be a threat to the USA military? Since spring 2022, Turkish combat proven Bayarka TB2 drones had established itself as a formidable weapon. Throughout the conflict, Ukrainian troops have effectively utilized it to fight off Russian forces marching towards Kyiv. Turkey has once again demonstrated the potential of its TB2s to impact the interests of the US and its allies, specifically in the Middle East. The conflict in views and goals between Ankara and Washington in certain conflicts within the region have been highlighted in recent years. Turkey has provided Ukraine with a minimum of 50 TB2s. The effectiveness of this weaponry against the Russian forces have transformed it into a powerful symbol of resistance. This has been greatly admired by the Ukrainian people throughout the war. In April 2016, the TB2 was officially confirmed to be on the market for sale. Ever since then, it's been purchased by a minimum of 13 nations, introducing the strategies of precise airstrike to develop a region and altering the outcome of various conflicts. The TB2 has successfully executed over 1,000 strikes, spanning conflicts from North Africa to the Caucasus. The TB2 has successfully executed well over 1,000 strikes, spanning from North Africa. Initially, military experts believed that slow and low-flying drones would hold little value in conventional warfare. However, the TB2 has proven its capability in taking down anti-aircraft system specifically designed to eliminate it. According to Rich Olsen, a former Turkish specialist for the State Department, this led to a significant shift in how wars are being fought at the present moment. In fact, he believes such an event only occurs every 30 to 40 years. 
It's without doubt that the Bayraktar company has been a huge success in the arms export for the Turkish government and for the nation prosperity. Naturally, this brings us on to the creators of said company. Selkuk Bayraktar was born in Istanbul in 1979, the second of three brothers. His father, Özdemir, was a graduate of Istanbul Technical University and started an auto parts company. At a young age, the brothers were exposed to machine tools and spent much of their childhood working in their factories. Selkuk Bayraktar gained experience with tool and die making and eventually became skilled at it in his teens. Bayraktar's innovative aircraft prototypes caught the attention of academic research and has led to his recruitment at the University of Pennsylvania after graduating from Istanbul Technical in 2002. The success of the TB2 has led to its use in various countries such as Ukraine, Azerbaijan, Nigeria, Ethiopia, Qatar, Libya. What we have here is a successful country at developing its arms forces. This country now house over 1,500 different arms companies, manufacturing and creating various different technological advancement in military hardware. Based on everything that we've seen, Turkey has no intentions of slowing down. In fact, it has found its advantage in the global sphere, in the global market, in the global reign of supremacy. How will this market be affected in the next 5 to 10 years? No one can say for sure. For many citizens of Turkey, they are more than happy with the advancement Turkey has accomplished in the arms industry and heavy industrial export. Thank you for watching this video. If you've got any thoughts, please leave a comment below. And if you'd like to support our channel, subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in our next video.